everyone, it's Anahita Rao back again. I'm here today to speak about um, the fourth house in the house series that I'm doing at the moment. Um, so let's get started on that. Um, what does the fourth house represent? Well, um, the one of the things that people uh, overlook is the first house represents the heart itself. Um, it represents, of course, um, a, your your mental uh, peace of mind, your, uh, your happiness levels. Um, it represents um, your mother. So it's a very very important house to to look at uh, in a birth chart to get to get a full picture because you may have everything going right in the rest of the chart, but the fourth house is is not looking good, which makes things difficult um, from the perspective of, of feeling satisfaction and, and happiness and uh, peace of mind. Um, so um, the fourth house also, of course, uh, with respect to physical matters, it represents property, land, buildings, dwellings, um, your own home. Um, it is also the signification of your uh, birth country. Uh, so even if you've lived in your birth country for only a very short while and you've lived most of your life elsewhere, um, your birth country still represents the fourth house because it's the original home. Um, and every other location, uh, despite how long you've been there, is considered uh, foreign uh, from the perspective of looking at your birth chart. Um, what else? Uh, from the physical standpoint, it represents cars, planes, boats. All conveyances are, are signified by the fourth house. Um, and um, jewelry, um, um, anything that makes you happy basically, uh, gives you a satisfaction, is seen from the fourth house. Um, and um, ending of all matters is also the fourth house. So um, this is something very important to see. You look at longevity, of course, um, by looking at the eighth house, but you also have to see the ending of, of, of all things is represented by, by the fourth house. So for example, if you've got Saturn in the fourth house, then the ending of life will likely be quite sad. Um, you have Jupiter Ketu uh, sitting there, then it will be, um, a sort of a spiritual peaceful type of type of ending um, and uh, Jupiter and Venus or any benefit even even aspecting the fourth house so even if you have Saturn but you've got a you've got a strong Jupiter aspecting it um, then you're looking at a better um, latter part of life um, and um, again as always um, it's not just up to the fourth house itself to see the condition of the fourth house and to see the significations of the first fourth house. You have to look at uh, what the Lord is doing, where it's placed in the birth chart. You have to look at the influences on the Lord. You have to look at the influences on the fourth house itself. Um, you have to look at um, D9. I always look at D9. I also look at the Varga chart um, associated with uh, the four, the fourth uh, house. So you look at D4 uh, and you also look at... Um, I also have a look at um, the Shashti Amsha, which is the D60, especially when it comes to the Kendra houses. I think it's important to have a look at the D60 as well. So you have to have a, 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 a clear picture only by looking at all of those factors. Um, on top of that, um, as always, you have to look at the Karaka for um, the fourth house. Um, so the moon is uh, the Karaka of the fourth house. So if you have a fairly damaged fourth house, but you have a very strong moon, um, then that's going to balance things out. So moon is something that is uh, generally associated with your, your, the state of your mind, your mental health. Uh, happiness, peace of mind. So it's very important to look at the moon's position and, and what it's doing in the chart. Um, uh, so if it's free from uh, malefic influences, um, then that is a very, very good sign of, um, you know, good good fourth house significations in, in your life, uh, despite what's going on in the rest of the chart. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Um, uh, please subscribe below and, and feel free to make any comments below as well. Um, and uh, have a look at my website, which is anahitarao.com. Thank you.